Hello, you're listening to Abstract AF. I'm Sneha Jaswal, and I'm going to be talking about the thriller murder mystery Mother Daughter Murder Night by Nina Simon. While not exactly unputdownable, this novel is a fun family themed murder mystery that follows a grandmother granddaughter duo investigating a murder with some reluctant assistance from the mother. So, okay, maybe the mother daughter murder night title is misleading since the grandmom and her grandkid do most of the work. But author Nina Simon does put in a fleeting backstory somewhere in the middle of the novel to sort of justify the intriguing name. I hadn't even heard about this book until my parents made a video call from an airport bookshop to ask me if I wanted anything. And that's when I spotted the novel's bold font title and thought it would make a fun pick for mom and me to read. So I was expecting Mother Daughter Murder Night to be something far more exciting, maybe a thriller about a mom and daughter duo trying to save themselves from a murderous cult or something. I don't know. But despite my wild expectations from the book, it did turn out to be an engaging enough read. While the plot doesn't keep you on the edge of your seat at any point, it's one of the things that I actually really liked about the novel. That I could leisurely read a few chapters every day without dying of anxiety over who the murderer is. In other words, if you're looking for a nail-biting whodunit, this is probably not it. Now, the primary focus of Mother Daughter Murder Night tends to be on its leading trio of women, and Nina Simon amusingly spins the relationship dynamics between them. The primary protagonist is Lana Rubicon, a stylish, successful, fierce and ambitious real estate shark who's pushed into hibernation mode due to cancer. She leaves her plush LA home to move in with her daughter Beth and teen granddaughter Jack, and she's bored out of her mind in this sleepy seaside neighborhood. That is until Jack finds a dead body during a part-time job as a kayak tour guide. Unfortunately, Teen Jack becomes a potential suspect for the clueless cops and Lana Rubicon, her grandmom, takes it upon herself to investigate the case and clear Jack. But even after the cops remove Jack from the suspect list, Lana and Jack do not back off from their private snooping into the case to find out who the murderer is. Lana's daughter Beth isn't very enthusiastic about the investigations, but grudgingly helps them. And as more clues unravel, the women realize that their lives might be in danger too. Not too surprisingly, Mother Daughter Murder Night features some classic Agatha Christie mystery elements with multiple suspects, land and inheritance dispute, and a possible love affair gone wrong. But like I said earlier, it's a complicated relationship between Lana, Beth and Jack that stands out best in the novel, with all the women having distinctly different personalities and complex relationship dynamics. Lana is not your typical grandmother at all. She prioritizes her career over everything. So when cancer strikes, she isn't excited about having to live with her daughter Beth as the two are almost estranged. So it takes a murder to shake things up for the women and they bond over solving pieces of the puzzle. Author Nina Simon uses easy to read and casual language. And as an international reader, I really like the fact that I never felt lost over any of the local or cultural references in the story. There is considerable suspense throughout the book over who the murderer is, and Nina throws plenty of red herrings to keep the readers guessing until the end over the true motivations of the killer. Lana's love for success, Jack's passion for kayaking and sailing, and Beth's general compassion for everything around her make Mother Daughter Murder Night a cozy, casual read for the weekend. It's a 3.5 out of 5 stars for me, and check the book out if that sounds interesting. That is all for this edition. Talk to you the next time.